An interesting twist to the sale of Paramount as this story begins to gather pace. Welcome to SciCheck, your Sci-Fi TV and Movie Channel. If you saw my video yesterday, you'll know that the current deals on the table to buy Paramount, there was problems with all of them. And because of companies um, like Byron, so they were coming in and offering anything up to 30 billion in cash for Paramount, something Warner Brothers can't do. I talked to you about the distinct possibility that Warner Brothers would be priced out of this deal. They cannot afford to stump up billions of dollars for this. And when the negotiations first started between Warner Brothers and Paramount, it was just going to be a transfer of debt. Warner Brothers weren't actually going to have to fork up a lot of money. But now, because of other interested parties, they are. And that is just pricing them out of the deal. I talked to you about a proposed plan for the streaming services from Paramount and Warner Brothers to merge with Netflix. Netflix would run both of those services so that we would get Netflix, Netflix Max and Netflix Max Paramount offered as three services or a super bundle. But I'm told that that plan was only going to happen if the Warner Brothers and Paramount merger went ahead. It's now looking increasingly likely like that's not going to happen. So Paramount are looking for other options. And a surprise or, well, not a surprise. In fact, I actually think it's a surprise these guys weren't involved from the beginning. But a company is stepping up now and seems to be expressing an interest in at least parts of Paramount, making it more and more likely that as we discussed in the previous video, Paramount will not actually be sold to one company, but will be cut up into smaller sections and sold potentially to several new companies. Who am I talking about? Universal. Um, Peacock and Paramount Plus were in conversations to merge. Now, these conversations have not been made public yet, and they're in the very, very early stages of that chat. Why would Universal, who owns Peacock, be having this conversation? Well, it's simply because at the moment, the Peacock network is not profitable. And nobody seems to know when it's going to get profitable. Paramount Plus is also not profitable, but was hoping to become profitable by the end of 2025. The plan is to merge Paramount Plus and the Peacock streaming network into one service, a service that can then be provided nationally in the United States and internationally eventually. And I say eventually because um, actually Peacock Network has quite a lot of deals internationally um, with other providers. There isn't a Peacock Network, for example, here in the UK. They have a deal with Sky and other providers for their material to go on. For example, I watched TED on Sky recently. So once those deals were to run out, this new Peacock Paramount Plus streaming service would become international. This would help Peacock become profitable far quicker. And this is something that Paramount have been desperately looking to do, as I've reported a few times recently. So why aren't they still looking at the Netflix deal? Well, I actually think, as I say, that was dependent on the Warner Brothers merger. I actually think Warner Brothers is going to announce any time really that there is going to be a Netflix and then a Netflix Max. They're already moving over some products onto Warner Brothers. As I said in the previous video, I think this is a bit of a warm up. The two companies are very um, close to each other at the moment, Netflix and Warner Brothers on the streaming side. And Warner Brothers plan is basically to allow Netflix to take on that. There'll be a deal within that that uh, anything that goes on Max will be produced by Warner Brothers and that um, eventually that's what we'll see as Warner Brothers continue to try and cut costs wherever they possibly can and to focus on what they're good at, which is making material, making movies, making TV shows, rather than actually branching out into all these different things like running their own streaming service, which they've proved they're not particularly good at and Netflix are. If you're enjoying the video and you want to hear more of the rumours and news around sci-fi television and movie, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment and all that stuff. Also, go over to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our videos do premiere first and you get to see them without the adverts, you lucky bunnies. So, Paramount probably can't get in on that deal 
if the merger with Warner Brothers doesn't go ahead. So they have to find somebody else. That somebody else looks like it might be the Peacock Network. Now, I'm being told that Universal are not interested in forking out billions and billions of dollars to buy any large portion of the um, Paramount Global Empire. But they might actually be interested in smaller sections. As I say, they may be interested in this merger with um, Paramount Plus. They may also be interested in certain elements of Paramount. I'm being told they might be interested in things like MTV and be taking on some of those subsidiaries of Paramount. And they may also be interested in some of the real estate, i.e. Um, some of the studio space that Paramount own. I'm absolutely certain that Universal would probably be very interested in some of the IP, but I don't think Paramount Global want to sell Paramount film side in sections. I think they want to sell that as one big lump. And I think somebody like Sundance is far more and far better positioned than Universal currently to take on that role. So this story, it's starting to gather pace. This is actually, I think, going to happen very quickly. But one thing we are certain about with the job losses that we're seeing, et cetera, and, well, stories like this, Paramount Global are positioning themselves to actually be sold on now. And it's looking less and less likely that one company will be able to step in and buy the whole shebang. It's far more likely that, like we said in our previous video, it's going to be two or three companies stepping in and splitting Paramount Global up somewhere along the lines of the Viacom CBS split that happened previously. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Is this Peacock Paramount Plus deal something that makes sense to you? Personally, I think there are way too many streaming providers and we need to start seeing some of these mergers. I actually like Disney Plus since the Fox merger. I didn't like it before. I think these types of mergers can be massively effective for a streaming provider and would make Paramount Plus, which to be honest, quietly has become one of my favorite streaming providers, a far more interesting proposal with a far more varied library of content. But guys, what do you think? Get into the comments and tell me. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification because this is the place to get all of your movie and TV news first. Also, go over to patreon.com forward slash site where a lot of our videos do premiere first and you get to see them without the adverts, you lucky bunnies. Finally, go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website. We do stories on a lot of our videos too. Go check it out. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.